Today we're going to be talking about slicers. Hello and welcome back to our video series on Power BI Basics. Uh, we're currently releasing a video every single day. Today we're going to be talking about the, the slicers in Power BI and how to use them. But if you're interested in learning about Power BI, please subscribe and go watch the rest of the videos in this series because they build on top of each other. All right, here is our sales and return sample v2019-12. So I went ahead and I downloaded this from Microsoft. If you search uh, this title right here, it will come up on their GitHub and it will be available for you to download. I've then gone ahead and I've added a page right here. So I've clicked New Page and clicked this, which then has given me this page. So I now can have a blank notebook. All right, so what are slicers? Well. Um, a slicer allows you to drill or control or filter your data in an obvious way. So there is this filter pane over here, which can allow uh, users to set filters. But a slicer allows you to kind of create dropdowns or a more visual way for people to navigate throughout Power BI. You can add a slicer um, exactly like in our, in our other videos uh, that we just did on the table, the matrix, and the bar chart, which again, if you haven't watched, go watch those, um, by either double-clicking right here or going new visual and then making it a slicer. Once you have a, have a slicer up, you're then going to have this field properties over here. This is where you can add data. So for example, if I were to add age in here, what you would then see is it's then going to create a slicer. So here's a numeric slider slicer. You can format a slicer by expanding the formatting settings right here or by using on object formatting right here. There's a few different settings here. First, we have its settings, right? Then we have its spacing padding, background, and then you can also change the, um, here's the slider color, right? So if you want this to be bright red, right? Here's how you can do that. But if you go into slicer settings, that's where you can change the slicer style. So you could have it be a vertical list. You could have it be a tile. You could have it be a drop down, right? So here's a drop down. You could have it be between. You could have it be less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. I'm going to change it to a drop down. In a dropdown, you can also enable a few additional settings. One of those settings is search. You can typically enable it by clicking this more options and then expand, but it won't pop up because I'm in a number. I'm using a number data type in this column. So let's go ahead and let's switch it out for text. So I just switched out for text, so here we go. I can then go here, and now I can enable search. And now when you expand here, people can go ahead and they can search for the value they're wanting to use. All right, so that's the original slicer. Let's now look at the new slicer. So the new slicer you can get to, and I didn't mean to change that one. Give me one second, just Command Z. Let's off select this. I just didn't select it. So the new slicer, you can do some really cool stuff. So you can add uh, tooltips, for example, but then you can also uh, add callout values. So for example, if I wanted to use a field as a callout value, I could. You can use images in it. So if you set an image field, which by the way, if you want to see a video on how to do that, let me know in the comments. Um, and then you can also actually customize the button style as well. Um, finally, if you go into your uh, slicer settings, you can also enable a select all or a force selection. All right, well, that's been our video on slicers. Again, these are just Power BI Basics videos. These are just meant to give you a really high overview of how to get started and how to hit the ground with your feet running. Uh, if you have any additional questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to dive in and answer them and or make a follow-up video. And if you're interested in learning more about Power BI, please subscribe.